Hey everybody, it's me Vic. I hope everybody's been doing well. I've been meaning to get to this video. This particular feature has been out for a couple of weeks now and I'm really excited to show you all the things that I've tried and uh, figured out what works really well. Um, I'm no longer using the NDI Tools plugin. Um, that is my disclaimer at the beginning of this video, but I am excited to talk about Wavelink 1.7.1.30.57. So with that, let's get started here. As you can see, I've been featuring my Stream Deck a little more on a screen here, but we are talking about Wavelink, but we're going to talk about Stream Deck as well. Well, the software anyway. Um, so you're going to be seeing me doing like a whole bunch of stuff, tabbing between things, etc. Um, I'm really excited to show you all. And then for those who are wondering, yes, I am using Epic Cam Pro on my iPhone. Um, if you are having trouble with Epic Cam, we can probably talk about that another time in another video. But for now, we are going to focus on Wavelink and soundboards or sound effects. Um, I am making a separate video for those who use voice mod, and I'm really excited about both of these videos I'm making. And I have tested out a whole bunch of things just to make sure things are working before making the video. I didn't want to rush the software feature out so quickly, so I gave myself at least a couple of weeks before making the video here. Um, the first thing you're going to do in Wavelink, as you can see up here, this is my sound effects channel. Um, Elgato is really great about creating different inputs. Um, I'm sure maybe in the future, if, if a feature request comes out or an update comes out where they might enable more auxes, but so far you have two additional auxes than what you can do with your microphone, your browser, your game, your music, your sound effects, your system, and your voice chat. Um, I did have voice mods microphone on here. This is the one right here where I could create the input and show you all, but I am no longer voice changing my voice when uh, playing video games or making content. Um, what I can tell you is the only time I probably will use the voice changer is when I'm playing Dead by Daylight or a scary game because of this voice <laughs> that I use. But other than that, you know, it, it's more so you'll probably hear me in Discord using it, although... Um, for those who I've helped, uh, I am apologize in advance with the helium thing. I was actually having issues with a particular thing. But for now, the first thing you want to do is you want to check this route to microphone effects box, right? So we're basically telling this channel to go to this channel. Um, there is only one input here in Wavelink that you can route the audio to your microphone effects. And that would be SFX, which is what you would use for a soundboard or you would use for sound effects. Um, the reason why we're doing that is to eliminate having the need to use NDI tools. Um, I am no longer using it. It's no longer installed on my, my computer at all. Um, if I had a dual PC, I could see myself maybe using NDI tools or um, Wavelink on both computers. I don't have the need for that as I am a single PC content creator who uses consoles with a capture card, but another topics. So let's go ahead and focus on this, right? So now that we've done this, the next thing we're gonna do, and I use a soundboard, and uh, the cool thing about soundboards, right? You can pretty much pull any clip of sound from the internet and make it into an audio file. And then from there, you can actually make a soundboard. So in this one, I have the Windows error, and in this one, I have the Wii theme. So what I'm going to do is, since I've already created these, I'm going to actually do, I guess, another one. Now, you're going to notice where I downloaded it from. It says by Tuna. So this is actually going to be something I talk about in my voice mod video. Um, you can actually come here and pull up relevant clips, memes, etc. cetera. Um, there are a whole bunch of different places that you can go for sounds, for soundboards. But I, I didn't even realize voice mod had this. And I usually use voice mod soundboard. Um, anyways, aside from that, I don't want to get anything that's going to be inappropriate, but we'll do Chewbacca. We'll download it and then we'll play the clip here. So that's from the browser source, right? But we want to see it come through our... <laughs> that's so distracting. We want to see it come through our microphone. So what I'm going to do is actually set up another sound button. So I'm going to go here to play audio on my Stream Deck. And for those who are wondering what version of Stream Deck software I'm on, I am on 6.1.0.18521. All right. So from here, I went to play audio and I dragged it over to the area that I want it to be in. 
And I'm going to select the file I just downloaded from my downloads. And it says Chewbacca. All right. So I'm basically telling it now that I want it to go to my sound effects channel. Oh, look at that. You can get more directly from the store with Elgato. Okay. But what we're going to do now is minimize this because we want to look at Wavelink to make sure that it's working. And as you can see, we have it right here. <laughs> So I went ahead and stopped it. That's why this button is here. Um, the reason why I did that is so that way you all can see as it's coming through here, it's also coming through the microphone. We could also do the Windows error. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, because I am using OBS to record, I'm going to bring out my OBS audio mixer and I'm going to run the Wii music. And that's coming directly through my microphone. So I wanted to share that with you all so that way you all know that you can actually use your soundboard with your microphone effects in any particular application that you use that does audio recording. And that also includes Discord. And what I'm gonna do is bring my Discord screen over here and we're gonna go to voice and video. And I'm gonna go ahead and preview again um, the Windows error. Oh, that didn't register here. So if you look, I have it outputting to my Wavelink voice chat. That basically means that I am having all of my friends when I go on like party chats or whatever, they're routing here, but this is my microphone, Wavelink microphone effects. That's gonna be the one that I'm routing everything to. All right, let's go ahead and do Chewbacca. Maybe that'll pull up. <laughs> So in other words, you're able to route the exact same soundboard to your Discord, through OBS, and through Wavelink. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody.